Moving on though, we have yet another update in the seemingly endless string of news related to the Microsoft Xbox attempt to acquire Activision Blizzard. This one is coming from Microsoft's response to the US Federal Trade Commission's complaint over the deal. And we're going to read from gamesindustry.biz with an article titled Microsoft calls FTC unconstitutional, the Federal Trade Commission that is. Microsoft yesterday filed its response to the US Federal Trade Commission's antitrust complaint over its proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard as reported by CNBC. The 37 page response covers numerous arguments Microsoft has already made in public or to other regulators stating a lack of incentive to make Call of Duty exclusive, a desire to grow its minimal footprint in the mobile gaming space, and painting Sony's protestations as those of a dominant market leader looking to hinder disruptive innovation that could benefit consumers. However, it also took issue with the FTC itself. And we're just reading the highlights of the article here. So they're quoted, Microsoft is quoted in the response stating, the structure of these administrative proceedings in which the commission both initiates and finally adjudicates the complaint against Microsoft violates Microsoft's Fifth Amendment due process right to education before a neutral arbiter, it said. Beyond its arguments, Microsoft also acknowledged in its response that it intends to make three future Zenimax titles exclusive to the Xbox and PCs. While the names of those games were redacted, Microsoft said all three are designed to be played primarily alone or in small groups. It contrasted that to Call of Duty by saying Activision Shooter was more analogous to Zenimax games it has continued to support on multiple platforms like Fallout 76 or Elder Scrolls Online, but these games are designed to be played together by broad communities of gamers on different platforms. So I think there's a few key points to take away from what Microsoft said here. As far as them comparing Call of Duty to Fallout 76, the Call of Duties that are already on PlayStation, I don't think anyone's talking about the potential of them being removed from PlayStation, like Warzone for instance will probably stay on PlayStation, but it's more like Warzone 2 or whatever the sequel to that might be. And then any Call of Duty single player game, you can even argue they might separate the single player component from future Call of Duty games and give the same reasoning that they did for the Zenimax games, that they're mostly single player and meant to be played in alone or in a small group so that they're going to make those exclusive to Xbox. And if Xbox didn't have a problem keeping Call of Duty on PlayStation, then they would just sign a deal and make concessions with the Federal Trade Commission. Instead, I think they want to have leverage power over the contracts. So that's why they're making direct deals with Nintendo and Steam and trying to get Sony on board before the FTC signs a more broad deal or contract. Concerning the FTC, the main issue Microsoft appears to have with the Federal Trade Commission itself is they appear to be able to play the role of judge, jury, and executioner, but in the legal sense. This implies either my understanding of the FTC process is incorrect or Microsoft is purposefully misrepresenting the function of the FTC. As I understand it, the FTC does not have the final say in whether or not the deal goes through, but they evaluate mergers and acquisitions. If they find the deal to be anti-competitive or anti-consumer, they then begin building a case against the deal to take to court if certain concessions or compromises cannot be made to allow the deal to go through. Now the part Microsoft I think is confused about or is misrepresenting is that the FTC has something like a test judge internally that looks at the case and determines if it's good enough or not to proceed. This is not the final step in the process though as Microsoft can still dispute this in court and I don't think they, they would need to appeal to say the Supreme Court for example. For instance, in a basic legal case, if you lose your case on a municipal city level, I believe you can appeal to a higher court, like the state for instance. And if that also fails, you can then appeal to like a federal court. But you cannot have the case retried in the same jurisdiction or same area essentially. This just shows whatever the FTC's internal judge rules does not hold any legal weight and only has power within the FTC itself. Like, I think his decision can impact whether the FTC moves forward or not with the case, but it's not like the final say in the matter. But I'm not a legal professional, and I get most of my knowledge about this case from the Hoag Law YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down in the description. That being said, 
Let me know if I'm misunderstanding the way the FTC operates here, or if you have any other thoughts on the matter as well. I'm really interested to hear what people think about this situation. But that is all for the news today. Feel free to comment about anything we talked about down below. I always try to respond and love hearing from y'all. Don't forget to snipe the like button if this helped kill some time. Consider subscribing if you haven't already to support the channel. But most of all, thanks for watching Game Xfinity.